some consider Fallout New Vegas to be the best Fallout game ever made. And of course, people love it on Steam Deck. But what's better than Fallout New Vegas? Well, what about Fallout New Vegas with mods? And what about Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 in one game? This isn't technically a Steam Deck Masterclass episode, but we'll consider this a bonus episode. Last episode we did talk about modding, and while we did talk about modding, we didn't talk about modding a specific game, Fallout New Vegas. This tutorial requires that you have some prior knowledge of how to use Steam Deck's desktop mode, more specifically, familiarity with moving files around. This guide is specifically for getting Tale of Two Wastelands working. For those not in the know, Tale of Two Wastelands is a massive mod that combines both Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 into one game world. But the installation process is quite involved and requires a second PC running Windows. And if you thought this was a good video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel it'll really help me get noticed by the YouTube algorithm. To get started, you will need to have a copy of Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, preferably with all of the DLC. You can use any PC version of Fallout 3 you want, because you only really need the game files. But for Fallout New Vegas, the script only works with the Steam version of Fallout New Vegas, so you'll want to get that. So on your Windows computer, you will want to download the TTW installer. The installer will prompt you to select your directories for both Fallout Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Select your installed directories for both, and then once you do so, you'll be tasked to select an output folder for your new files. Just make a new folder somewhere and put it there. If you get this error, that means something is using your Fallout files. Like for example, my Steam is updating the files and transferring them over to my Steam Deck, so make sure nothing is using those files because you'll need them. Once you've gotten everything ready, press install. This process will take a really long time, so we'll get back to this later. Now let's talk about prepping your Steam Deck. So we're going to refer to this Rocker Bacon script. They actually updated this back in August, and now it works better than it did before. You can now install Fallout New Vegas onto your SD card, and have your mods be there too. So what you want to do is go to the GitHub page, and then go to releases, and then download this tar.gz file. You'll then want to extract it, preferably into its own folder. Make sure Fallout New Vegas is installed. You can actually install Fallout New Vegas on a micro SD card now, along with your mods. You'll want to make sure this install.sh file is executable. Right click it, go into properties, go into permission, and see this check mark right here is executable. You're good to go. You also need to install Proton Tricks, so go to the Discover app and download Proton Tricks because the script requires Proton Tricks. Also launch the Settings app, and from there, go to System Settings, and inside System Settings, go to Applications, and then go to Flatpak Permission Settings. And from there, you should see permissions for your Flatpaks, such as Proton Tricks. Here you can manage all sorts of permissions, but here we'll want to add one permission. For file system access, press add new. Press that browse icon and go down to your removable devices. Primary is the name of your SD card. And then have it be read write. And then you're good to go. Now that that's out of the way, go ahead and launch the install.sh file. Select Fallout New Vegas. You'll see this pop up. Be sure to delete your current game prefix and create a new one. And from here, this is where things will begin. You'll want to go into Steam, and then you'll want to go into compatibility and force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Select Proton 8.0-4, and after you've done that, be sure to launch the game at least once. When you see the game's launcher, be sure to exit it. After you exit it, be sure to press All Done, Let's Continue. It'll ask you where you want to install Mod Organizer 2, and the default location is fine. But if you want all of your mods to be on your micro SD card, then you'll need to install it there. So your micro SD card will show up as a bunch of different numbers. Trust me, that's the device. And you'll want to create a folder called MO2 in there, just to make things nice and organized. And once you've done that, press OK and you should be good to go. Now when you launch Fallout New Vegas one more time, you'll see this new screen right here. This is one time only. Press Next, and then press Create a Portable Instance. This way you can ensure your mods go into one SD card. Since we're doing a Tale of Two Wastelands, select a Tale of Two Wastelands, and then press Next. 
And in the next screen, this folder should be auto-populated, so just press next as well. This is optional, but you can enter your Nexus API key. You can pull up your API key fairly easily from the Nexus website. Just be sure not to give it to anyone. Now go back to your Windows PC and you'll find that hopefully the installation is complete. You'll also notice that there's a bunch of mods you have to download to play. So be sure to download all of these mods. These are links by the way, so you can click on them. All of these are non-negotiable except for the Epic Games patcher, which we will not be downloading because we're not playing this off of Epic Games. You should see a massive folder with a bunch of files. You'll want to transfer these over to your Steam Deck. Inside your Mod Organizer 2 folder, you'll want to go into Mod Organizer 2, go into Mods, create a new folder called Tale of Two Wastelands and copy all of those files into that folder. I've already started the process because it takes a really long time, but just copy them into that folder. Yes, all of those folders get copied into a Tale of Two Wastelands folder inside your mods folder, inside your mod organizer folder. So go ahead and launch Fallout New Vegas. And of course, as usual, you'll be greeted with Mod Organizer 2. And now you'll see one mod has been added, the Tale of Two Wastelands. Click that check mark to enable it. But now we still have to install a bunch of mods. So go ahead and press File, Install Mods, go find your micro SD card directory, which you can find in my computer. Z drive is your Linux file system. You can find your micro SD card in the D drive. And in my case, I kept the multiple zip files in my SD card. Mod Organizer 2 can install mods directly from zip files, but for two specific mods, you'll need to install them manually. So we've installed all of these mods that we can directly, but there's still two mods we have to install manually. First and foremost being the new Vegas script extender. So you see all of these files in this zip file? You want to go to your Fallout directory. So go to Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas, and then pull up the zip file. And then you'll want to extract the contents of the zip directly into the folder and overwrite everything as needed. Once you've done that, you'll also need to run the Fallout 4 Gigabyte Patcher. The mod page for the 4 Gigabyte Patch has a specific Linux version, so be sure to grab that and then make sure that's executable and then launch it. And from there, falloutnewvegas.exe has been patched. Be sure to put a check mark beside every single mod here so that they're enabled. And once you've done that, you can press the run button. It'll pop up saying that fallout.ini is read only. You should allow it to be written to. The game will still launch without a tweaks INI, but to be honest, it's really annoying seeing that, so we're gonna get one set up right now. There's a lot of interesting tweaks you can make with this INI, but the easiest way to make this message go away is to make a blank version of that INI file. They even say you can do it. So go into your game directory, Steam Apps, Common, and then Fallout New Vegas, Data, and there's a folder in there called NVSE. Click it, and then you'll want to create a new file. Right click an empty space, go to create new, create new text file, and then name it nvse underscore stewie underscore tweaks dot ini. And that's it. That's all you need to get that message to go away. But if you want to actually tweak, then I recommend looking it up online. And as you can see here, Fallout New Vegas should just work. And yes, launching the game through game mode does in fact launch Mod Organizer 2 in game mode. So you can enable and disable mods at your leisure directly. And there we go, Fallout New Vegas in the flesh once again on Steam Deck. In fact, this is running on my Steam Deck OLED. And if you're wondering why the colors look a little weird, I think my capture card is failing, so I think I need to get a new one. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.